What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends once again in this video here today. So in that post Jamie Lee Curtis put out to celebrate her last day on set of filming for Halloween ends, there is this image that she shared which included a unfamiliar face in the background between herself and Andy Matichak, which shout out to you Joey for pointing this out to me. Uh, doing some research myself, this does indeed look like this is a actor named Rohan Campbell. Rohan Campbell, if you're someone who watches the cw shows the cw has this show called the hardy boys um and he is a star in that show and it seems that he is in halloween ends now the thing that's backing this up is not only that image that he has with jamie and andy but there's an image of or an image that he shared recently last month in the month of january earlier in the month where it looks like he is present in savannah georgia so whatever character he's playing i don't i don't know but it seems more than likely that he is going to be in halloween ends i do just want to say that this is not something that's been officially announced so he could be there for other reasons but as you see here this instagram post for last month at the very bottom it says january 12th uh and then you look you see the comments one of the more recent comments was hi how did you manage to meet jamie lee curtis and again the location for this image is savannah georgia uh, again, his name is Rohan Campbell. He is a star in the TV series The Hardy Boys on the CW, if you want to check that out. And it looks like he is a star in Halloween Ends. The other things that are backing this up is the fact that on top of the fact that he has an image with Jamie and Andy, him being in Savannah, uh, it looks like he is also following people that are heavily involved with the production, like Jason Blum, Ryan Turek, uh, Andy he's following andy so it it seems that this man is in halloween ends now whether or not that'll be the case that has to we have to wait and see and wait for an official announcement but it looks like we have tracked down a new cast member going off of what jamie lee curtis has posted i did try to look up who his talent agency was and who his agency was in general uh because if you watch my jeepers creepers videos you know that's how i piece together sydney craven being in the film because if i could have seen his resume May, it would have probably given us a title of him being in a film called cave dwellers which is the work title for halloween ends and then that would have been more than enough evidence to back up that he is indeed going to be starring in the film so whatever role he portrays in the film uh, we'll have to wait and see first first and foremost to see if he's actually going to be in the project because he could be there for another reason but i think he's in the movie uh, if I'm to guess, I would imagine he's probably dating Andy Matichak's character. That's her boyfriend or something. Even though she's spent the past four years trying to recover from losing both her parents and just that whole ordeal with Michael Myers and how he killed a couple of her friends as well, she still managed to move on and process some stuff and managed to find comfort in a and a boy who whoever he is if he's in the movie portrayed by rohan campbell that's most likely who he'll be he could be some random dude that's just in haddonfield and of course is factored into the movie and we'll get to know him as the movie progresses but if i'm to guess i would imagine he's probably involved with andy maddichak's character of allison nelson romantically and the other thing i wanted to talk about in this video was regarding laurie strode and the idea of her dying so the only thing so far that seems that it would indicate that she's dying is how if she were to die it would be kind of fitting considering some of the dialogue that you have heard in the previous installments so far already uh such as the fact that i think at one point in the last two movies she does make a statement of the only way for him to die is if i die with him and then of course there's that dramatic moment she has with karen in the hospital where she says where she's talking about let them take each other or something like that so of course if it were to just happen in halloween ends you know that would just be foreshadowing fulfilled and hopefully it's just done in a way that's not disrespectful to her character how could i see laurie strode dying i could see her dying by just simply taking the fight to michael myers head on and this would be both characters disappearing into whatever it is that they disappear into let's say it's some um, dark room or just some location that's set on fire and they both just burn burn into nothing it's assumed they burn into ashes and you know they cease to exist of course since they're both been set on fire uh however we of course would not be be convinced fully 
that Michael Myers is dead because again, I'm just gonna go back to what Dave McCray has stated. I'm really on that idea of the movie ending with a voiceover coming from Dr. Loomis from beyond the grave, watching over all this and just saying, you know, you you fooled them, Michael, but not me. And then the movie ends again. This was Dave McCray's idea. And I think that's brilliant. I think that's brilliant. It's enough to instill into the audience's mind that, you know, the shape isn't dead. Something went on in that fire that resulted in Lori dying, but the shape isn't dead. We could get confirmation that Lori died. And, and and again, you can you can be you can believe that that uh, Michael is dead because, of course, how can he survive that fire this time around? If there's no traces of him left and we get confirmation that Lori died, it's only safe to assume that Michael died. But at that point, I think they would also have to confirm that his body was recovered or something was recovered. If they recovered Lori's body, let's say they recovered Lori's body. OK, well, why didn't you recover Michael's? But I still think that ending somehow with Dr. Loomis giving us a voiceover stating that he's fooled everyone else, but not him speaking from beyond the grave as he's watching all this unfold 40 years later. I think that's very iconic if it happens. And I think that would be a nice, subtle way to just point or plant the seed of doubt that Michael Myers died in that fire. Uh, we could see a we could see something happen where they go into the fire after it's done. It could just be a crazy fire. If this even involves a fire where they just go in to recover the bodies and they find nothing for whatever reason, <laughs> uh, Jamie could or Lori could die trying to stab the shape the state ends up stabbing her i just don't want to see anything that's overly obnoxious and a slap in the face to this character like with sally hardesty and i know a lot of people who have seen texas chainsaw are a little bit concerned about what they could do with certain final girls going forward because of how sally was so poorly mistreated i don't think there's going to be anything that disrespectful uh, but who knows because she did say it would upset some people so if it's involving how Lori dies I mean you signed up for it so I, I guess it, as long as she's in agreement with it that's fine by me it depends on how it's portrayed on screen it doesn't mean it's necessarily a good idea just because she was on the positive side of it but we'll see Rohan Campbell most likely is in this film let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you have me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video